Who wants to be the captain? I do! Is there anyone? Down here! You! Let's go! Oh my god! Shakiri! You ever just want to be a frog? Frogs! 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 <laughs> Sometimes I really wonder what kind of shit I'm doing in videos. More something, boys, and welcome to the cool Kosovars, the hidden country in FIFA Persona! In this episode, we're gonna take a look at one small country called Kosovo, but in order to do that, we have to take a look at a couple other countries in the Balkans, uh, such as Albania, and then we're also gonna talk about Switzerland, which is obviously Central Europe, but in order to talk about Kosovo, we have to sort of talk about those other countries. I'm not gonna get into the politics of it. Uh, the only thing I'll say is that over the past few decades, the Balkans has been ravaged by war. Uh, Yugoslavia was broken up, which resulted in a bunch of other little countries popping up. That was uh, the result of the split up from Yugoslavia. And then Kosovo was the result of one of those. We're gonna stay away from the politics of it because people get really heated. If you ask one person if they think this country is independent, they'll say no. If you ask the other person, they'll say yes. So we're gonna stay away from that and just look at what Kosovo could be as an international footballing side. And it's actually pretty freaking sweet. In this instance, we're going to be doing Kosovo, and the reason I got this idea is during the Euros, uh, Zerdan Shakiri kind of caused a stir when he said that he would consider playing for Kosovo because the Switzerland manager did not give him the captaincy. He gave Lichtsteiner the captaincy, and so Shakiri was a little upset, and he thought to himself, uh, he said this in the press, he said that if the Kosovo manager offered Shakiri the captaincy, he would have to consider switching uh, to the Kosovo national team. Now, Zerdan Shakiri in the squad builder, which you guys are going to see in a couple minutes, I believe is the only player actually born in Kosovo. Um, again, not sure if you guys know this, but like 93% of the population in Kosovo are Albanian, so it gets really, really, uh, gets really, really convoluted. But essentially, all these players are either Albanian, uh, Swiss Albanian, or well, Swiss players on the national team that have Albanian or Kosovo, uh, Kosovar citizenship that could be eligible to play for Kosovo, and some might not be eligible to play for Kosovo. Not all Albanians are eligible to play for the uh, Kosovo national team, as far as I know. You guys let me know in the comment section below, but I present to you boys the possible Kosovo hidden country in FIFA national team. Now, the reason I call it a hidden team is Kosovo, as of a few months ago, was not able to participate in FIFA uh, World Cup qualifying. They haven't done so, I believe, since the 90s, and it was literally just two months ago that FIFA said, okay, you guys are gonna go to you guys are gonna go to Group I, I believe, for the World Cup qualifying in 2018, and they're officially gonna be able to participate in the World Cup. That is a huge deal. They were the 210th nation to join uh, the FIFA membership, along with Gibraltar. Uh, Gibraltar is the 211th, so congratulations if you're a Kosovar. Congratulations, you're able to qualify the, for the World Cup. The strange thing is, is the World Cup's being held in Russia. Russia does not recognize Kosovo as an independent nation, as well as Serbia. Serbia does not recognize uh, Kosovo, as an uh, Kosovo as an independent nation as well, which was one of the reasons it was so difficult for Kosovo to become a FIFA member. I feel like I just taught a history lesson. If I got any of that wrong, let me know in the comments. Hopefully I didn't get any of that wrong. But anyway, boys, we've got some crazy freaking players. We're obviously not on 100 chemistry, but we're on good enough chemistry. The lowest chemistry guy we have is Rashika, who is, uh, uh, who is five and then we've got six six and six which is okay with me and then we've got Alban Meja who just recently came out and said that he is going to switch to the Kosovo uh, national team so he might instantly become uh, in FIFA 17 he might instantly be the highest rated Kosovo player in ultimate team we've got Zerdan Shakiri who can definitely play for the Kosovo team he was born in Kosovo we've got Rashika we've got Behrami and then we've got Jaka the, that's like the trio right there the main guys the most visible guys obviously all Swiss players playing for the national team but are Albanian uh, have Albanian descent and then Kosovar uh, either parents or descent and then you've got Lorik Kana I believe I'm saying that probably incorrectly but he's retired from the Albanian national side and he was one of those guys that lobbied for Kosovo to be recognized by FIFA to, to be independent and be able to participate in the World Cup they have been able to play friendlies however but they haven't been able to uh, compete in order to qualify for any World Cup games we've got Lenjani who looks like a beast we tried to get Aligi who is uh, who's got an 85 pace card, really solid passing stats as well. Then we've got Mavraj, who's also lobbied really strongly for Kosovo to get its independence, uh, to be able to participate on the World Cup stage for, uh, uh, to become a FIFA member, essentially. And then we've got Taulan Jaka, Granit Jaka's brother. Obviously, when they played each other in the Euros, that was a pretty uh, tense little matchup. You've got Laurent Ta uh, Jaka, who represents Albania, and then you've got Shakiri, who obviously plays for the Swiss national team. But this is the squad, boys! And then also Berisha, who plays for uh, Lazio, has been a huge proponent, strong proponent for Kosovo getting uh, membership status for FIFA so they can participate in the World Cup. But this is the squad, boys! Actually, really, really crazy freaking squad. Now, some of you guys don't like the longer intros where I sort of talk about stuff, 
but you have to understand I'm a huge football fan as well so like this sort of stuff really really interests me like a player that has this nationality and can play for another especially when there's a huge history behind it that's the sort of stuff that really really interests me I love playing FIFA I love the gameplay like a lot of people are I guess are a little bit bored of FIFA 16 I'm still playing FIFA 16 for like a few hours a day oh shit but anyway boys this is the squad boys if you guys do enjoy the episode hit that like button let's try and last two likes for the Albanian Kosovo connection as well if you want to interact with me on Instagram and Twitter those links can be found in the description below and like I said if I got anything wrong in the video let me know in the comment section below did not mean to offend anyone because some of these some of these videos some of these things can upset people especially in the Balkans where there's a huge uh, ethnic and religious uh, there's a lot of ethnic and religious strife um, at least in the past couple decades so hopefully no one takes offense to it don't mean any offense in any of this just a fun squad to look at but anyway boys let's get to a couple matches let's see how this possible Kosovo squad performs I'm a froggy tank driver now first match is gonna be a test boys let's freaking go dude Alba dude I'm gonna score some freaking rocket blasts with this squad I can already tell oh the ref Russia is strictly paid. Russia go! One nil, and that's a silver right there, boys. Come on, dude. That's Russia just blasting through his defense. Near post, OP, on top shelf. Oh fuck. player I don't know what I forget what his I think he's like 67 68 overall silver but all his shooting stats are in the green he's got 83 long shots 84 shot power just an absolute freaking beast there we, go. we were gonna concede one with that voice on. dude how do you do that how do you do that celebration dude that was sick Jaka with the freaking nice save! Or was that granite? Smokes, how did we let him back in that? We had the momentum, we were up 2-0! Look at dude, we killed him! We were killing him possession-wise! We had we had it, we were running away with the game! So I need a tang Mrs. Kitsa right now, dude. I need that fucking vitamin C boys. Now I'm ready to go! You are a cunt. <laughs> you are a cunt. Nobody likes you. Do the apologies. Excel. Yeah, celebration. What the? F I'm a bitch at FIFA. I don't know why I suck this bad. I'm usually pretty good, no. but now that I don't have a dad, I do have a dad. I'm just kidding. I just needed something to rhyme with, and now I'm gonna go see if I can get a. Fuck. Fuck! Usually if I lose 5-2, I would say that I deserved it, dude, but I don't think we deserve to lose that. We got screwed by the momentum, dude. That goal, that freaking own goal was killer. We had like 60% possession. That went all the way down to 54. Didn't even have like a shot on target in the second half. What the cunt? I'll tell you one thing right now, bro. This guy's going down. I don't care that he is Ebra. I don't care that he has a freaking full Manchester United side. This is freaking Kosovo versus Manchester United. Los Gates. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm just. I'm so hungry, dude. Wait. What? What? Did his ankles get snapped? He just like fell down. This is probably one of the most even matches I've ever played. I feel like I have probably more shots overall, but possession, I think, is probably nearly identical, or not. Just blasts it upper left. Come on! Choose your destiny. Flawless what? victory. Wait, what is happening right now, boys? Wait, what is, what is Ebra doing? 
We deserve this victory! Come on, boys, we're gonna get a third match in, but we deserve that freaking victory big time. Holy freaking smoke, come on. All right, boys, here we go, match number three. He's got Mick Pato, he's got Kaka. Pretty much a full Brazilian side with the exception of, I think I saw John Stones in there. But, uh, match number three. Let's freaking do this, boys. Dude. Dude, Karius. we're looking for boys come on one nil in the 16th minute we're winning at least two out of three should have won that first match alban meja nice little trap and then freaking blast it past Karius. what the hell dude his keeper Karius. all right boys at halftime i would say we definitely deserve to be up one nil if not two nil have had some incredible, incredible long shots. And really, the player of the match right now is his freaking keeper. He's kept everything out. You know when you just can't keep everything out, though? You know when that, that perfect shot just comes along? As in, like, right now? boys it's a shit freaking goal but it's the one we deserve we deserve to be up 2-0 right now freaking shakiri does all the dirty work and then just pass it off i don't even know who the was that jaka dude rashika hell yes dude two goals in three matches not bad not bad for a freaking 68 overall silver and there you have it boys match number three we win two out of three and i think we probably should have won the first one the momentum swing was crazy in that first match with that own goal I don't know if that was the first goal that he conceded, but anyway, that was the swing of the momentum. 8.8 .8 for Granik Jaka. Barisha didn't really step up big time in that match. Let's take a look at the match stats. And we get ourselves 22 shots, 13 on target, near 60% possession. Completely dominated this guy. But anyway, boys, that is the Kosovo squad builder. And like I said at the beginning of the episode, let me know if I got anything wrong in the comment section below. I think it's great that Kosovo were adopted as a FIFA member and now can participate in the World Cup alongside all the other countries as well. So that's an awesome thing for Kosovo. And uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy the episode, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, choose later, a day. Oh, wow. <laughs>